Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be going over some new Generation 5 remake hints for next year's Pokemon game. We also have some slight updates, rumors, theories, whatever you want to call them, on the 19th Terra type. There's a lot of things to break down today. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So starting things off, obviously recently we did go over all of the latest updates on a potential Generation 5 remake or remaster or whatever you want to call it for next year's Pokemon game. Um, and there's obviously loads of hints in like the Blueberry Academy Elite 4 and all that. However, this also popped up as well in the latest Pokemon Presents. We have Soul Silver out here saying, I'm going to be adding this to my evidence for a mainline Generation 5 Pokemon game coming next year. Ace spec cards were announced to be returning to the Pokemon TCG next year. Guess what? Ace spec cards were introduced in Generation 5 and only used in Unova sets. So it is quite funny that um, obviously this is something that was kind of announced in the latest Pokemon Presents. And this is basically just completely Generation 5 material. Like this only was in Unova sets for the Pokemon TCG. And it's quite funny that this is coming next year in 2024 when all of this supposed Generation 5 remake stuff is going out. Like whether it's Black and White 3, a remake or, you know, Legends Curum or whatnot. There's clearly a lot of Generation 5 pondering for next year. Obviously, we, we went over a lot of the stuff in, in the recent video, but obviously there's just stuff like this as well. Like, um, the name is a giveaway for, like, Clay and Lacey and stuff. The names are also both root vegetables in Japanese, uh, which ties in the name play that they do for related characters. There's, like, a ton of stuff in the Blueberry Academy that, like, relates to them. Obviously, Drayton and Drayden. Um, we've obviously got Clay and Lacey. Um, there's also the Duraladon Evolution, which is obviously supposed to be, like, Driftfield Bridge. Um, there's just a ton of Generation 5 stuff, as well as Riddleku basically saying that, like, the characters in the Generation uh 9 dlc for the indigo disc are basically like massive hints towards the next pokemon game in the in the, in the form of like Drayden and, and, and Lacey and stuff. So that's all the Generation 5 stuff. Just some quick uh, hints and stuff to go over for the next year pokemon game. Again, it's not confirmed to be Generation 5 at all, but at the same time, it's been so heavily hinted. And stuff like this just kind of adds fuel to the fire. Uh, anyway, let's move on to this 19th Terra type and uh, a little bit more information about it. We've got Light here talking about Soul Silver are talking about it. Um, just kind of different ideas and theories about what this actually could be because we really are just in the dark about it. We we don't really know too much about it at all. Like we were all expecting like Terraforms to be a thing, but now it looks to be like this 19th Terra type instead. Um, so we have Light here saying, how could this new mechanic, the 19th Terra type, uh, work potentially? the Omni type. Only the Pokemon that have the mightiest mark with specific Terra types will be able to terraform. Other Pokemon that will just upgrade the damage of Terra Blast according to the Terra type. I'll leave to you the ones potentially that will have terraforms as theorized before. Also Mew, Venusaur and Blastoise are just speculation. They will change um, appearance according to the specific Terra type and probably a special particular move that will be replaced um, isn't Terra Blast. So again this is just like a theory at the end of the day but these are the Pokemon that like supposedly could be getting like terraforms. Again it is, is it, it very well could be anything at this point. Like, we're not really too sure. Obviously, the fact that Baxcalibur was also shown being able to use this 19th Terra type, I just don't really think that Terraform is going to be as big as we were expecting them to be um, because we've not really had any of the leakers talk about it since we got the initial like initial leak ages ago. And, and at the same time, I feel like this 19th Terra type is going to be more important because that's what they've gone into detail about. I think if Terraforms were big, they would have announced them by now. Um, so that's the first thing, just a little theory about um, obviously it being potentially an Omni type and maybe Pokemon with the mightiest mark can get it. Uh, next up, we have Soul Silver are talking about it as well, saying, So I believe the 19th Terra type will work in one of two ways. Either it's like the typeless type and uh, hits and takes neutral damage. Or it functions like a brand new type and has its own effectiveness on other types. I think that's because of the details in this screenshot. Um, so if it's a 19th Terra type, accessible to every Pokemon, it's not going to be completely broken for every Pokemon, right? Also, this pick of, is of Baxcalibur versus Dragonite. It's almost definitely not like Arceus's Judgment move because we can see it with Terra Blast. It's not going to do super effective damage, but just neutral damage. It also clearly doesn't have type effective, uh, effectiveness that is super effective against Dragon type, or it would also be super effective against Dragonite anyway, just like how Baxcalibur's other moves are super effective in this battle. This is why I keep calling it a 19th type, because if it's a typeless type or has its own type effectiveness, effectiveness both of these functions just like a new type. Lastly, about the typeless type, 
type. I'm using that term, but the law could in fact be the opposite, and it's just technically more like an all type type, but being an all type, this would still function exactly the same as the typeless type. And here it take neutral damage against all of the other types. So I don't really like the idea of this typeless type because it just becomes pretty pointless being able to. I mean, obviously it's good that it can hit everything, but at the same time, you know, it would be neutral damage against everything. So there's no super effective against it. There's no uh, resistance to it. And then obviously, I, I, I'm assuming that you would also get like no weakness and no strength as well. So everything hits you for neutral damage, just like you hit everything for neutral damage. It also sounds kind of bland. And I don't know, like the idea of it is very colorful. And it's like a combination of all types. So I feel like it's going to be more of a, of a big thing. I don't think it's going to be typeless. On the idea that obviously it could be... Um, you know, super effective and stuff. It, we might see another screenshot about something potentially uh, a different Pokemon using it, and obviously that would kind of like, I guess, ruin the idea of it being a typeless type. But at the same time, I think it's going to be more than that. I just think that a typeless type would be relatively not boring, but it would just not be as hype as if it was like having its own kind of uh, big. I guess gameplay feature impact in the competitive scene. Uh, we also have Soul Silver Rock saying, "Fam, I think I cracked it all. This crown, the gems around it, the ultimate terrestrial gem on top of it—they are all the hidden treasure of Area Zero. So this is what the Guardian Terrapagos is protecting. I mean, come on, they are crown jewels. Almost every European monarchy had them, including Spain and Portugal. And if you just look at a depiction of the Spanish crown, you can see where the inspiration for this design came from. On top of that, the history of the Spanish monarchy being rich, and of course, our very own Pokémon will wear the." Uh, the, the crown uh, jewel slash hidden treasure too so it does look very similar i guess with the the kind of crown with like all the spikes coming out and stuff it does kind of give you the same vibes here as um, the crowns used in previous like spanish uh, monarch in the spanish monarchy and stuff like that so yeah obviously that's the resemblance of the kind of um crown itself but again, the fact that all the, the gems are kind of surrounding it here, again, it makes me also believe that it's not going to be a typeless type because, I don't know, I feel like all the types coming together wouldn't just make something typeless. I think they would make something much more beneficial. Like in an idea, in, in an ideal world, it'd be super effective against everything, but obviously we know that's not the case because of the image with uh, Vaxcalibur um, not having super effective damage against Dragonite. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I personally think that it's going to be better than a typeless type. But uh, we also have Light here talking about it, saying, Big call uh, to Card and H here that created the concept and all that suggested how it would work the 19th Terra type. If you don't want to break your head, just check the image. So the easiest way to think about how this uh, new crown will work is that it will obtain the 18 types for both sides attack and defense. As a fence should hit uh, times 1.5 stabs. This is getting very mathematical right now, by the way. All types and original types from Pokemon will hit times 2 stab. So a Pokemon with double original types will take profit of this. Terra Blast is excluded from this. Uh, we'll, we'll actually have a quick look at the image here. So we have a Magnemite here, which is an electric steel type, and then it gets this 19th Terra type, and the offense is basically times 1.5 stab on all types except electric and steel, which will deal double times the stab. And then defense, it receives uh, one time stab from all types. So basically what this is here saying is that you basically get stab on every single move, and then on your original types, you get double the stab. I feel like that would be a much more likely scenario for this because it's a 19th type. It's supposed to be, I'm assuming this is supposed to be like the best type or something like that. Hence why it's getting all this kind of um, information about it and stuff like that. I do like this idea more than the typeless type being able to uh, get a, like stab on everything and then double stab on your original types. But at the same time, I don't know if like every Pokemon would get that because it seems very broken. And I feel like only certain Pokemon would get it. So maybe this 19th Terra type does actually create a Pokemon into this Terraform. And then the Terraform is what is this uh, where it like obviously hits you with 1.5 or double. And maybe Baxcalibur is just getting, um, maybe it's just getting a Terra type, you know, a, a, a Terraform. And maybe that's just the way they're going around it. Um, but I, I, I like this idea more than the, the, the typeless kind of stuff. But uh, obviously this image was made by uh, Carden Hayes the effort to do this concept art um and so yeah basically just kind of here just goes into detail about the image so that's kind of the latest kind of theories and rumors and stuff about this potential uh not well not potential this 19th type we know it's obviously a thing um again i i hope it's a big thing but at the same time i i don't know i feel like it could be it could be one of those things it could go either way but uh, we'll have to wait and see hopefully we get like another trailer for the indigo disc that comes out soon and we can obviously get some more information about it i think it definitely will be in the next trailer just simply because they have kind of dropped it in the end of the the, the latest trailer but anyway that's gonna be everything from me if you enjoyed the video drop a like down below let's try and hit 500 likes leave a comment what are your thoughts on the latest generation 5 remake hints uh, what kind of gen 5 game would you like to see next year and also leave a comment on the um, this uh, 19th type. How do you think it's going to affect the games and stuff? But yeah, make sure to subscribe. Bring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. It's everything from me. Have a great rest of your day. And until next time, peace.